Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate and get on with your day. In this video, we are going to install Clip Studio Paint on Linux Mint. First, we have to make sure that Snap is actually enabled. If this is not already the case, there is a link on screen now and in the video description to the earlier video how to install and use the canonical Snap Store in Linux Mint. If you want, you can take a look there first. Clip Studio Paint, known in Japan as Kurisuta, is available for Windows, Android and macOS, but not for Linux. In general, you can try to install and run Windows applications in Linux through various emulators or compatibility layers. Applications like Wine, Play on Linux or the use of virtual machines come to mind. This is of course a manual process, but if you search the Snap Store for Clip Snap Paint, you will find the unofficial installer for Clip Studio Paint on Linux that will run a Wine compatibility layer and it is certainly worth a try. This is based on the Clip Snap Paint GitHub project by MP Regalado. The latest release is 1.11.10, so maybe this is not the latest and greatest version of Clip Studio Paint, but you can certainly start here to see what is possible on Linux, if it works for you, and then later on maybe attempt to install a more recent version. You can install it straight from the Snap Store by clicking the Install button, but in this example we will use the terminal sudo snap install clip snap paint. This will take a couple of minutes and eventually it reports that clip snap paint is installed and the application is added to the menu. Once clicked, the actual installation is going to start which involves patience and you clicking through the various menus. All the components needed will be downloaded for you and installed automatically thanks to the clip snap paint script. Click install to install the wine mono installer. After a little while, the clip studio paint installation wizard will appear. Move the dialog out of the way, because in my experience this dialog will run indefinitely if you don't close it later on. Click next to start the installation process and click install when asked about wine. Now run through the installation steps just like you would on Windows. Once completed, click finish and simply close the still running dialog. Let's add the Clip Studio Paint application to the taskbar. The first time you start it, there are a couple of last steps to go through. Make your selection to automatically send users information or not. Then select the version you want and if you already have a license, you can enter the information here. In this case I will click EX or X as I don't have a license and I just want to have a look for now. In the preparing to use dialog click OK. And the game of clicking dialog boxes continues but we are almost there. Click install. The next step might be different for you but in my case I had to click wait. And then a few seconds later the application actually starts. Click close and close the offline dialog as we are not logged in with an account. And now you can start to use Clip Studio Paint. The last dialog makes sense as we are running on Linux after all. Click close. Every next time you now start the application, it will do so without further problems or dialogs popping up. As stated, this is the version of Clip Studio Paint that comes with the Clip Snap Paint installation script. It appears that at this point in time, if you want to use a later version, you will have to start emulating it yourself. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.